most of the area of Australia is filled with eucalyptus trees like this. And these forests are really, really prone to wildfires. And the main reason is eucalyptus trees itself. And that's because these eucalyptus trees are designed to burn. They are designed to start forest fires. And at first glance, it seems counterintuitive. I mean, why would a tree evolve to burn itself? Only until you realize how does eucalyptus trees propagate. Soils like these are really nutrient poor. And in such nutrient poor soils, the best strategy to grow is to eliminate all other competition. And eucalyptus trees do that by starting forest fires. Eucalyptus trees help propagate these fires. And the seeds of the eucalyptus trees are fire resistant. So in the barren landscape that succeeds the fire, the fire resistant seeds of the eucalyptus can give rise to new eucalyptus shoots and they can grow without competition. Using this strategy, eucalyptus can colonize really well in areas where nutrient is really poor. The trunk of the eucalyptus and the leaves of the eucalyptus are contain essential oils and these essential oils are really flammable and really really volatile. So in the event of a fire, these oils will really fastly turn into gases and these gases are really inflammable and they will burst into huge fireballs and these fireballs help propagate the fires faster. The second way they help propagate fires is by shooting branches which have fire in them. Eucalyptus trees have an ability in which they can shoot trunks with fire across hundreds of meters and these trunks will fall to a new place and will start new forest fires from that place. Fire also helps eucalyptus in another way. The bark of eucalyptus tree contains allylochemicals. Allylochemicals are special chemicals that are designed to reduce competition. These chemicals are poisonous to other plants beside the eucalyptus. So in the event of a fire, the eucalyptus tree releases these allylochemicals and the fire helps propagate these allylochemicals easily, essentially hindering all the nearby growth of all the other plants. The seeds of the eucalyptus germinate after the fire and the trunk of, trunk of the eucalyptus contains special epicormic shoots that activate and create new branches after a fire. And at the base of the eucalyptus tree, you can find lignotuber compartments, which are special compartments that store carbohydrates. These help to provide energy to the plant after the fire. So forests like this, made up of eucalyptus trees, are really, really forest fire prone. And you can see that on the way here, we can see multiple warnings about fire hazards and forest fire hazards. And in places like this, where eucalyptus evolved, such fires help propagate the eucalyptus and other trees. But in places where eucalyptus has been introduced, like some places of California, some places of Portugal, or some places of southern India along the western Ghats, in these places, eucalyptus is not native. They are introduced. And in such places, they create unnecessary forest fires that only destroy all the other plants that grow beside them. In ecosystems like this, where eucalyptus coexists with other rainforest-like plant species, Fire favors the eucalyptus. If fire, fire is there, then eucalyptus will thrive. But if fire is absent, then slowly these other plants will take over, like ferns and lily pillies and other plants will take over the land from eucalyptus. It's not the eucalyptus that thrives in fire. There are other species like the banksia and acacia that also require fire for the germination of its seed and the propagation of its seeds. And it's not only plants that does this. There are also animals that help spread these fires. There are various falcons and there are various whistling kites and there are black kites. And these kites can actually carry small pieces of embers or small burning sticks across forest and they'll drop them in new places to create more forest fires. Why do they do that? They do that to catch the insects escaping from the fire. And apart from the Australian ecosystem, the tectonal trees in the Indian mainland are also examples of trees that are designed to germinate after fire. Such ecosystems that are designed to thrive in fires really highlights how strong the competition is. Now, nature and evolution sometimes works in really, really bizarre ways. Thank you.